Hey everyone, my name is Eric Dominguez and I am a communications, confidence, and storytelling speaker, trainer, and consultant. And today I'm gonna to talk about how great authors can also become great keynote speakers. So first I'm gonna tell you why it is important that if you are an author, you absolutely get to develop your public speaking skills. And I'm gonna tell you the number one asset that you already have to being an exceptional keynote speaker. And then finally, I'm gonna give you a few tools to translate your writing from page to stage. And you're gonna to wanna to stick around because at the end, I have a free giveaway, especially if you are an author or an aspiring author. So let's begin. First of all, why? Why would you want to become a keynote speaker if you are an author? Well, there's a few reasons. The first one I can equate to the misfortune of online dating. Now, if you've ever had the misfortune or fortune, depending on how it worked out for you, of online dating, it can go a lot like this. You see someone, they have great pictures, they have a witty captions to all those pictures, they have an awesome, awesome description. You even chat with them and they have good humor, good conversation, good personality, and you meet them in person and they're not quite what you expected them to be. It's the exact same if you're an author and you're asked to speak. Individuals and audiences are looking to have the same type of feeling, the same type of experience from you that they get from your writing. And if there's an incongruency in the two, if you have really powerful, organized, impactful writing, but you're showing up nervous, disorganized, or, or just not quite clear as to what you wanna say, that's gonna inevitably hurt your brand. It's going to hurt the reputation that you have and the power that you have in those words. The second reason why you get to become a powerful keynote speaker is because it's just a practical way to increase your business. When you're asked to speak at a conference, number one, event planners are willing to pay you to speak at their conference. And number two, it is a phenomenal way to promote and to sell your books. So it's absolutely necessary. If you are an author, you get to develop your public speaking skills primarily your signature keynote talk. So now let's talk about the number one asset that you already have. I have been working with speakers and aspiring speakers for over 25 years. And the reason why authors usually have a leg up on all aspiring speakers is that you already have a clear and concise message ready to deliver to an audience. You know, as you have written your book and brainstormed and worked with editors and peers and groups, that writing an idea, that creating and crafting an idea that sticks takes a lot of effort and a lot of time. And really, as it comes to speaking, that's about 90% of the work. You already know what you want to say, and to some extent, you already know how you want to say it. But there are some differences between page and stage, which is why, different story for a different uh, day, why universities separated the two departments, English literature and rhetoric and communication. There's a lot of different reasons and a lot of different strategies and approaches that branch those two off. So I'm gonna give you a few tools and a few resources to be able to translate those thoughts that you have written, that you've poured into so eloquently on paper to the stage. The first one is identifying your communication intelligence. I wanna say that again, because it's really, really important. Identifying your communication intelligence. Now, what in the world does that mean? It's more than just understanding where you are in terms of your speaking. You may know that you talk too fast and you might sweat when you're in front of an audience or that you might go off on a random tangent, but do you really truly understand why you do that? See, part of what sets me apart from some of my, my colleagues as public speaking and communication consultants is that I address the fears and desires behind our inefficiencies. 
without addressing the fears and uh, desires behind our inefficiencies, we're just putting a Band-Aid on a problem that's going to keep coming up. Personally, I use the IEQ-9, which is the Enneagram assessment that is the best out on the market. So if you're not familiar with the Enneagram, for lack of a better term, it is a personality assessment that uncovers our fears and desires. It is a scientifically backed tool to be able to understand what is it about me that drives me to communicate in front of an audience and what fears do I have when I do speak in front of an audience. It's a tremendous, tremendous tool and we'll make sure to link it uh, either here, right here, we'll put it right here, or in the comments, uh, the IEQ-9 Enneagram Integrative Enneagram Institute, which is absolutely top notch. Second tool is that you start to synthesize your writing and you start to create your own movie based off of a book. Now, I use this intentionally because if you've ever read a book and then gone and watched the movie, you know that there's quite a few details missing. That's very intentional because we cannot take a full book and represent it visually in under two hours. It, it just doesn't work that way. So screenwriters will condense plot lines, they'll condense content so that it is more manageable in terms of time. That's what you get to do. And I get it. I totally, totally get it. This is one of the most difficult things for us content creators to do, to edit our work and synthesize it down. And I have some further bad news for you. You're not just making the movie when you're creating your signature keynote talk. You're actually just creating the movie trailer. Usually keynote addresses are anywhere between 45 minutes to about an hour and a half. And I'll give you a harsh reality. If your entire book could be communicated in 45 minutes to an hour and a half, the book probably isn't worth reading. It's probably more effective for me to sit and listen to you for 45 minutes to an hour and a half than to actually read the book. But in your signature talk, you're giving an experience, you're giving an overview on your main message, and you're able to address some of the keynotes, some of the key experiences, some of the key content that you can deliver to your audience. It's literally teasing the audience and giving some of that content away so they cannot help but be super excited about going a layer deeper with you, purchasing your book, and even interacting with you in that space. And finally, I just mentioned it, it's giving your audience an experience. Giving your audience an experience. Whenever individuals go to conferences, whenever they sit down and see a speaker, they're expecting to be moved in some way. You've done that. You have absolutely done that. I know the level of work that it takes to create a written piece of work. I know the blood, sweat, and tears that go into that. And so when you have created this phenomenal text, you get to also mirror that experience in what you are creating for your audiences. Yes, it's gonna look slightly different. Yes, you're gonna have to concede that you're not gonna be able to tell them everything you know. You're not gonna be able to tell them all of your content in that amount of time. But you can still give them an experience and an overview of what you are about and what your message and your mission is about. Because that's what audiences want. Whether we're sitting in an audience or we're sitting in our office reading your book, we want to be moved. We want an experience. We want to be inspired so that we can improve our own lives, which is the reason why you sat down and started writing the book in the first place. So here is our giveaway. Here is your opportunity to really be supported in the journey from page to stage. You're gonna click on this link right here. We're gonna put it right here. And when you click on that link, it's gonna ask you a few key basic questions. And the first three authors to fill out that form, 
Here's what you're going to get. Number one, you're going to get a complimentary IEQ-9 Enneagram, Enneagram assessment, a full assessment. This is 42 pages long that is uncovering your fears, your desires, and your communication strategies. And you're going to get a complimentary coaching session with me where we'll walk through those results and we'll also address a lot more of the communication intelligence aspects that are so critical to translating your work, as well as giving you some feedback on some of the fears and inefficiencies that you may have when you are designing your keynote signature talk. I am so excited for the first three authors that click on that link, and I cannot wait to be in connection with you. Now, for the rest of us, continue to hit subscribe right under here and keep up to date with all content related to communications, confidence, and storytelling. Have a good one.